What's going on, my people? So, this is what today has in store. I have a 120 millimeter, five 12 volt fans. So, I have five 12 volt, 120 millimeter fans. Okay, so I said that right this time. So, what I want to do is I want to try to power those a kind of different way. I have this right here. Can y'all see it? It's a little tiny PCB board and what it allows me to do is it allows me to control the volts so I can crank it from 18 all the way up to 24 all the way down to 5 so it allows me to produce more volts out of a 5 volt so what you do is you plug in a micro USB to one end which is 5 volts and then you can crank that up to 24 if you want to. I'm running 12 volt fans so what I'm going to try to do is put it right about 13 or 14 volts and see what kind of outcome we get. Um, I think it will work but I don't think it has enough amps to power all of the fans properly and fast enough to where I want it. Uh, real quick, those are the fans that we're going to try to power and I'm gonna do it with a daisy chain connection with Molex so this is the video and let's get to it let me show you guys what I got going on here I have a helping hand several helping hands holding a voltmeter for me to a PCB that has a micro USB that's powered by a serpent so I have the USB block and then it's running five it's running five volts in to that little PCB alright and then down there is the voltmeter so I'm gonna hook it up alright the cool thing about this little PCB is that it turns five volts all the way up to 24 volts so right now it's at 17 volts so what I'm going to do is you see this little there's like a little screw right there it's that little brown tip at the end of the blue box alright so I'm going to turn that and it should drop no nope, that's the wrong way okay let's go this way kind of hard to film and do this okay there we go now we're dropping in volts anyway I want to hook this up to a 12 volt fan so I have to turn this down until I get to 12 volts whoops technical difficulties all right is it back on yeah okay so let's let's turn it out some more So I'm at 16. Why the hell am I at 16? I'm trying to go down the bolts. Okay, no, no. I'm going the opposite way. Hang on. Alright, I'm at 15 volts. trying to turn a little tiny screw whoop we lost signal again didn't we how's that yeah that's better okay so right now I'm sitting at 13 volts 13.5 volts so 
what the whole idea is that I'm going to mount this Molex connector, okay? I'm going to solder it. But look, right now I got, can you see it over there? I have my soldering iron and it's getting heated up. And then this is my new test bench right here. And I got to figure out a way to power all of these fans. So I'm going to do it with this electronic PCB. That's how I'm going to power all of my fans up. So I'm going to do it step by step real quick. So let's go ahead and get those bolts back down. All right. So I got some uh, lead free solder. And I got my soldering iron and my flux. So what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to attempt to get this soldered on there so I can complete my solder on our iron here there we go put it in my sponge being a pain to melt but I'm trying to get it to yeah all right up hot enough now because this should have been melted all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and run it up in the hole like that and then I'm going to Heat it up until it melts. Let's try it this way so we can get a there we go. Perfect. Got a nice clean. Let's see if I can get on that without hitting the button. Can y'all see that? Let's see if the camera will autofocus on that. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna put it back. Okay, so that's one down. Let's go ahead and start on the next one. Put down the iron so we don't burn ourselves. All right, we're gonna put a little salt or a little flux like that. flux on there just 
going to whoops looks like I got a couple threads that don't want to go in the hole that's not a problem alright so there's like four or five strands that are giving me trouble and I want this to be completely connected and completely fluent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip them snip all that uh, excess shit off alright go ahead and insert our wire alright got that done put a little flux on the end here So there, there we go. Essentially, I now have a five volt to 12 volt Molex connector because I have a whole bunch of these. Let's see here. Let's give y'all a look at the setup here using the mic right there alright I'm gonna power all of these through daisy chain a bunch of molexes so I'm real curious to see what will happen if we do so we're going to set it over here let's go ahead and put that back we're going to turn it off we're going to move our helping hands get them out of the way alright so this is a battle way alright what all I got to do is push this button and it will turn the power on to that switch and hopefully power them fans so I'm gonna push the button and we're gonna see what happens oh and it turns on now look at that can y'all see that look at that they're not very bright nor are they spinning very fast so I'm going to crank the juice up on them a little and see if we can't make those here let's adjust the camera here guys can you all see that so I'm gonna turn it towards y'all a little okay there we go that's better curious to see how many volts we're at right now so we're going to find out
according to this, we're only at like four volts. That can't be right. Let's see if I can't get this to. Damn, this is why I need another pair of hands. Because according to this, it's telling me that it's at like four or five volts. Well, damn. We almost got it to work, guys. I mean, we did get it to work. I did successfully get power to all of the fans. It just... It didn't make them bright enough and they weren't spinning very fast. Even when I tried to eliminate how many fans were on, you know, that were drawing power, I still couldn't get the result that I was looking for. So I'm going to see about going on Amazon and trying to find a bigger PCB board, something that will handle a little bit more oomph. Uh, preferably maybe something that has 5 amps and starts at 12 volts and goes all the way up to like you know 40 or 50 volts something where we can get a lot more juice but um, I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me and watching and tell me your thoughts put them in the comments you know like the video I appreciate you guys and as always 